Okay, so I think it's been a few months since I've shown any of my highland plants. <clears throat> uh, I mean, they're slower growing in general than my intermediates and lowlands. So, I mean, there's not too much going on in here. But I figured I'd just show you around. So, uh, so you can see what's new. A few things have been repotted. Um, a few things have been moved over to the intermediate, into the intermediate uh, tent just to see how they'll do. Uh, sorry if it's a little echoey in here. I'm kind of in an empty room. You just recently moved. Uh, and then I've got my dog in here. She's kind of needy, so she might be making some noise. Let's just start up top. This is a uh, seed-grown macrophylla. Here are its two newest pictures. I repotted this guy. I don't know if it was before or after the last video. But he really seemed to appreciate it. And you can see... Uh, Put out a few leaf jumps, super, super waxy, really interesting leaves, super neat. Almost feel like they're made out of rubber. Uh, not sure what the origin of this one is, it was just sold to me as uh, seed grown, and I mean, I was just happy to have the plant, so I didn't ask too many questions, just happy to add it to my collection. Okay, sorry about that, my cat was... Uh, Trying to climb into a bag of leaves that I've just been trimming off. Anyways, um, let's see, we've got a Palawanensis here. I recently repotted it as well. Uh, it was just kind of not growing super fast. I mean, it wasn't doing poorly, but I just felt like it could do better. Repotted it into a bigger pot and it seemed to appreciate it. You can see this is the newest leaf it put out right after it being repotted. Here's a low eye. I can't remember which clone this one is. I think it's an AW clone from True's Mati. Let's see if I can get a good look at the lid bristles there. It's been doing really well. Uh, this plant was tiny when I got it, and it's just put on a good amount of size. It's a fairly decent sized plant now. It's still small, but I mean, in comparison to how tiny it was when I got it. Let's see. Here we've got a Hamada Edwardsiana. This is, uh, I believe, clone either nine or seven. I'd have to pull the tag. You can see it's got a bit of a weird shaped mouth. Which honestly, I kind of like. Sometimes I just come in here and look at this plant, kind of laugh at it. It's just, pretty, it's pretty goofy looking. But they open up this uh, pure green. And then they kind of darken up and get that kind of dark licorice color, peristome. Not a whole lot of color to the body. But also it's got a long ways to go. You can see it's put out some pretty decent leaf jumps recently as well. Alright, and then we've got a small jam band here. Older picture on it. If we can focus. Maybe. There we go. Kinda. And a new one coming along. This was actually uh, originally from this plant. It was on a taller stem. It got pretty palm tree esque in its growth and it just wasn't doing super well. So I chopped it back, replanted it. And then now we've got this little basil coming up from a little bit up the stem, you can see. Yeah, and then this is a uh, different clone of Jamban. I got it as a rooted cutting. I mean, Jamban is just one of my favorites. I mean, it's hard to beat that. It's pretty cool. I mean, just the long tendrils, the Super weird pitcher shape. And then the really thick fluid in, on the uh, inside of the pitcher. It's just a really cool plant. All right. Here is an Elisa Patrona. Uh, this one just hasn't been doing anything for the longest time. 
Uh, so I repotted it, and you can see it put out a little bit of a leaf jump there. So I'm hoping it's going to start growing again, because it's just kind of been stuck at the exact same size, putting out a leaf every few months for the longest time. And after repotting, it seems to be doing better. And if you remember, this is the Raja that uh, I got from a, uh, let's see, Black Jungle. Honestly, don't recommend them. I've gotten a few plants from them, and they've all just had a lot of issues. But this one came with a bunch of different little basil growths. So the main plant wasn't doing well, so I just chopped it off, replanted it here. You can see it's starting to put out new leaves. And then I've got all these funky tissue culture basil growths here. So hopefully I'll just end up with a few plants. Brabigier Rob Cantlii recently put out a new picture. Let's see if I can try to get a good look at it. Pretty nice plant. I think this, these markings on its uh, leaves might be from either, I'm either watering it too much, it might need to dry out a bit more between waterings, or maybe it's water on the leaves. I think that's something that comes from the Rob Cantley eye parentage. They like to dry out a bit more, they don't like water on their leaves, and I think that's what that blotching and kind of yellow color is. But uh, if anyone knows for sure, let me know. And let's see, what else have we got? Hamada AW Clone 2. One of my favorite plants. And this one's just getting... Pick it up real quick. It's just getting to be such a cool plant. Really, really cool. And it's just taken off in growth lately. It's holding a bunch of pictures, as you can tell. I did have an issue with this one for a while of just putting out kind of funky leaves and I just kind of waited and eventually it just started acting right. I'm not sure what it was, maybe just from a move it just, I don't know, got a little stressed out, but it's doing a lot better now. Super toothy. And this is a clone 2 female from AW. Put that one back down. This is a uh, Briggsiana, is that right? Loei ventricosa. Gets super, super, super dark, which I really like. Here's a newer picture back here. You can see they kind of start off a lighter red and then get super dark. Really, really nice, tubby, squat, Pretty, uh, kind of woody pictures. Pretty tough. I'm sure this one would do fine in the intermediate tank as well, but it just hangs out in here. Here's a Hamada Ventricosa. It's doing pretty well. Uh, it's one that pouted for a while after arriving in the mail, but, you know, with time it's just gotten better. I think this is a seed-grown one, maybe? No, no. It's a clone. Here is a... Ooh, a uh, Singalana Hamada from Carnivoro. This is one of their seed-grown plants. It's doing all right. This one, whenever it first arrived, uh, while I was taking it out of the packaging, actually every single root broke off. Like the entire root stem just completely broke off. So it took a little while to get back on its feet, but doing well now. And I mean, I think that's about it. So uh, just wanna say thanks everyone for all the likes, subscribes, comments. I really just started making these videos as a way for me to kind of um, keep track of my plants growth without having to have like 50 videos saved to my phone. And I figured, you know, if one or two people watched, that'd be nice. But uh, really just thank you guys so much for the support and uh, yeah, see you next time.